Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are on the track for the sixth race. The Santa Cruz Handicap for three-year-olds and up. This is for a purse of $10,000. A mile and one furlong. In number one post position, Charioteer. Number two is Sunday. Number three is High Society. Four, Father's Boy. Five, Gunshot. Number six is Investigator. Number seven, Flaming Sword. And on the outside, wing away. The horses are approaching the starting gate. Your attention, please. A last minute change on number five, gunshot. Starter Leonard Cassidy is now calling the horses to the gate. It is now post time. Wing away is in. Father's boy is in. Starter is having trouble with high society. Now they're moving high society in. And we're almost ready for a start. We're waiting now for Sunvale. They're almost all in line. We're waiting now for... There they go. Sunvale takes the lead. High Society is second. Investigator is third. Turning into the back stretch, it's Investigator by a length and a half. Sunvale is second. High Society is third on the outside. And Wegaway. At the half, it's Investigator in front. Sunvale in second. High Society is third, Wegaway, and Gunshot. Around the far turn, it's Investigator by a neck. High Society, Gunshot, and Wegaway. On the extreme outside, and here comes Flaming Sword. In the stretch, it's Flaming Sword and Father's Boy. Flaming Sword and Father's Boy, they're coming down to the line of finish with Flaming Sword on the outside. Father's Boy on the rail, it's very close. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly hold all tickets. It's a photo finish. Alongside the freighter, 935, call for the first mate, Rankin. And you tell him? That I got the cases of fruit for the Portugal Rose. Good. He'll take it from there. Hey, you better show off now. mind winning from yourself, go on over to table number three and bet on double O. Come up five straight times. What do you want me to do about it? I want to know what you want me to do about it. We're tapping out over there. You want me to close that table? Get some more money. All right. Get some more money. Get some more money. Board? 
State your business. Uh, my business is with the first mate. I'm a public health officer. What do you want with the first mate? Well, I got a delivery. Have you had contact with anybody aboard since this ship anchored? No, no, I told you. I just want to see the first mate. Anything wrong? The Rose is under quarantine. Tropical bug. Crew's being tested at Marine Hospital now. Oh, I guess I better get back to shore. That's your delivery? Yeah. What do you got here? Fruit. Fruit? That's what started all the trouble. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's what? The canned fruit. Well, no matter. Better head back now. And keep away from the ship till she's been cleared. You understand, Slate. I did the best I could. But that public health officer, he almost had me dead to rights. It's all right. We got a way to go. I would have made it work, but I had no chance. Relax. I'm still going to get my cut, ain't I? Forget it. You'll get your cut. You're doing fine, Benny. <laughs> Just fine. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come again. Thank you for coming, folks. Good night. Good night. Come visit your money anytime. <laughs> Did you make a rough count for tonight? Yes, I still don't believe it. We came out on top. Oh, that's nice. Nice. It's miraculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're closed for the night. You, Mr. Lucky? Yes. I just came aboard to see how lucky you are. Whatever that means. It means you name the game. Stud, draw, high guy. I said we were closed. Still closed? Uh, and uh, by a very strange coincidence, we just happen to have one table still open. Eight. Pair of seven showing. Pair of kings showing. It's your bet. Any limit? There hasn't been all night. I'll bet 10,000. It's quite a bet. You call? I'll call and I'll raise you 10. You got him again? You'll have to pay to find out. I'll call. Kings over jacks. Three sevens. You're rough. About 25,000 rough. I hold good cards. Let's go high card. One cut, double or nothing. Don't push your luck on a bad night. I can cover the bet. Cut. After you. You're right. It's a bad night. Call again, Mr. Um... Martin. Martin. Can I get you a drink, Mr. Martin? For $50,000? I can't afford it. <laughs> Gentlemen. Mr. Martin. Would you excuse me for a moment, Mr. Lucky? I seem to run out of deposit slips. Surely. You gentlemen, step this way, please. Well, what did we do? But the serial numbers match the bill stolen from the track. How many times do you want it, Lieutenant? All I know is this Martin came on board, gambled, and I won the money. Look, Lucky. 
I've known you for a long time. Long enough to know that I wouldn't get involved in anything like this. I know you play your cards straight, but it doesn't matter what I know. The department's concerned, and you haven't explained a lot of things. You still say this is the man you gambled with? It was the man. Oh, boy. Oh, will you stop playing that? I'm not playing for money. Look, Lucky, how can I make it clear to you? This isn't a man named Martin. His name is Al Saunders. He's been in prison for five years. He's doing life. He's still there. He wasn't last night. I checked. It couldn't be the guy that came on your boat. Hey, do these cards belong to the police? Yeah, what's the matter? <laughs> They're marked. Oh, well, they were confiscated in a gambling raid. Robax. Camel, Lieutenant. We've cased the boat from top to bottom. Nothing. All right. All right, come on in. I'll be back. Well, that's it. There's nothing on the boat. He's sticking to the same story. You better book him. I can't recommend that, Captain. Dovax, I know he's a friend of That yours. isn't it. It just doesn't make sense. He was on the boat when the robbery was committed. He could have had a piece of it. He could have masterminded it. Well, he could have, but I don't think he did. But let's go on the premise that he did. He won't do you any good in a jail cell. If he is mixed up with it, somebody will contact him. If he isn't, we haven't lost anything. Put a couple of men on him. Yes, sir. Rovax? Yes, sir? If lucky, should get away. Yeah, I know. I can plan on an early pension. <laughs> We ought to sue. For what? False arrest. How could a man who's in prison come on board and gamble with me? Oh, now, Lucky, listen, I was only kidding. Now, don't get involved. Huh? They let us go, didn't they? You can have 13 to 5 on that. Don't turn around. We've got company. Oh, boy. out of town and up the highway, about 40 miles. Where'd you leave him? Rosemead. It'll take him at least an hour to get back, even from there. Let's see, 5.30. It'll be dark in half an hour. You thinking about loading? We'll never get a better chance. Oh, I don't know. Look, we're in a spot. That freighter hadn't been quarantined. That money'd be on its way to Europe by now. Split up in a half a dozen countries and no trace. So? I've made arrangements with another boat, a tanker. But it doesn't get here until tomorrow night. That leaves us 24 hours sitting on some very hot money. There's still only one safe place for that dough, Lucky's boat. Charlie, Floyd, you cover the dock. See that nobody gets out to that boat. All right. You know what to do. My beautiful little Kilomenes Japonica. That's my baby. We'll just... Careful, tuck your little calyx in here. That's right, yeah. And put a little water on your Corolla. That's it, that's it. And now we are ready for bed. There's a good girl. Hello, Gardenia. Lucky. You got busted. <laughs> no, just visiting. Oh. Uh, Gardenia, andamo. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Visiting, huh? Oh, well, that's too bad. I could have uh, given you a good job for four cartons a month. Could make you my assistant. <laughs> uh, some other time. Uh, Gardenia, do you know uh, Al uh, uh, Saunders? The guy doing life upstate? What would you say if I told you that he was aboard my boat last night gambling with me? <laughs> I'd say you better change your brand. That guy's been in maximum security so long they call him the Count. <laughs> the Count of what? Monte Cristo. <laughs> uh, he was still on my boat. What do you say to that? Well, I'd say Benny the Actor's working. Benny the Actor? Pick-up artist. Oh, he's great. 
just great. Barrymore and Olivia, <laughs> nothing. Zaki, this guy was front man for a bank job ten years ago. That was poetry. Sheer poetry. Made himself up as the bank president. Do you know where I can find him? I've got a list here. I try and keep it up to date. Christmas presents, you know. Well, let's see. The actor, the actor. Yeah. Try 724 Cardigan Street, Apartment C. Apartment C. Yeah. Is there anything I can do for you? No. Leave a little money on the book. Now, you've never seen me. Right. I was here. Leads out the back way. He could be anywhere by now. Come on. All right. Don't get unstuck. Well, look, I just got out of there in time. Look, he knows something, or he wouldn't have come to my place. No, listen, Slate. You have to wait for that tanker tomorrow night. I don't. I, I, I did my job. I want my money. I'd like to get out of town. Sure, Benny, sure. Here's your dough. Are you not sore? Slate. Why should I be? You did a good job. I was thinking of something else. The heat's on. You take a bus, train, plane. You may be asking for it. There's a better way, Benny. Yeah? That fishing boat. A couple of boys will take you across the bay. You can move from there. Thanks a lot. Why are you so interested in me? Playing it safe. You could lead somebody to us. You got a point. Choice. What? Go to bed or hang ourselves? Now that's what I call a compulsive gambler. <laughs> Something I can do for you? Boy, you sure played the wrong number. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Well, yes, Captain, but if you just let me have him a couple of more minutes... I... I've given you all the time I can, Rovax. No more. I said book them. Yes, Captain. Just put your personal property in these and you'll get them when you're released. If you're released. The end of the first day. Look, George Reff does it all the time on the late movie. I've seen him. 
You know, you make you make four in a row down this way, and then for the fifth. I, I know, I know, I know. Hey, dinner! Oh, thank you. Maggie? Oatmeal for dinner? Please, andamo. Well, listen, we may as well get used to it. You know, we may be here for a long time. What's the matter? Ain't you hungry? I just can't understand it. Why would they plant a murdered man on the boat? They had to figure we'd call the police. And that's exactly what we did do. Andamo, they wanted us off the boat. Yeah, well, they made it. I've got to talk to Robax. Well, Lucky, please, anybody else. We didn't do so good with him. God, Lucky, that's not the way. Look. The late movie. Oh, come on, Lucky. You can't expect me to jump at a wild notion like that. Lieutenant, how wild is it? Look, they set me up with this racetrack money. They knew I'd get arrested, but you double-crossed them and let me go. Now, they needed a drop. My boat was the perfect spot, only not while I was on it. Yeah, we went over your boat from stem to stern. Sure, and they know that. They put the money on after that. You trying to sell me that that million is on board your boat now? That's a general idea. All right, let's take a look. Look, I can cut the time down. I know the boat pretty well. Come on, we'll talk to the captain. And um, maybe we could stop somewhere on the way over and have something to eat, eh? for the help. Lieutenant, when you say thanks, I feel richly rewarded. Oh, Lucky, look, I'm sorry about that other... Uh, Lieutenant, you know, if you, you had listened listen to me... me. Now, I know, I know. None of this might have happened. Huh? Hey, give me that. Yeah, sure, just don't pass it out of any portholes. Huh? You still got lipstick on you. Very funny. Oh. 